and gentlemen, children of the corn, welcome back to another episode of the Mindless War Podcast presents Character Appreciation Month. Today we've got a very special duo with us. Mm-hmm. We've got Lucy and Billy who have been making your <laughs> nightmares come to life at Not Scary Farm. Why don't you all introduce yourselves? Well, I'm Lucy. <laughs> I'm Billy. <laughs> Psych! No. You see that coming right there. Man. I'm Billy. And I'm Lucy. They are the freaking terrifying twins of ghost town. That we are. Yeah. The yeah. one and only. Yeah. The one and only. How, how long have you all been in the, the haunt industry? Well, go ahead, Noe. You... I've been doing it for 10 years. 10, ten years. years? Wow, that's yeah, beautiful. That's 10 years, nice. and then I've been doing it for 8. Nice. nice. That's, yeah. that's a long time. It's been a while. You guys love doing it, obviously. You keep coming back. Yes. It must be fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, we love going to the event. Uh, one of the highlights of the event was watching you guys, if we caught you guys. Every night <laughs> I know, we're just like, we're just rare. Not, <laughs> I don't blame we you don't guys, stop. Man. No, you literally do not stop. No, yeah. I, was, I would always tell Tony, every time I saw you guys, I was like, Weren't they just here? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, two like, minutes later, you're already back? We're hanging out in one spot, and then, like, two minutes later, I'm like, they just did, like, two laps. I can't even do, like, two yeah. laps. And Especially on, on heavy nights, oh, we're yeah. just like, we're boom. We're on. We're just going. Yeah, we um, don't stop. Well, for starters, I want to thank you guys for coming on the show, because this was a big one for us. When we thank got you. into it, it was, like, <laughs> blown away. I mean, when we decided to do this, we didn't know who we wanted and who was going to accept, who was going to sure. come on, and yeah. you guys said yes, and that was just, like, a big mind blown to us, so... Thank yeah, you for coming on. No problem. Thank uh, you. We're here to Appreciate have fun. It. We're here to talk haunt stories. We're here to just talk. Yeah. Whenever. Um. So I'll start us off here. Did you all begin in the streets, or did you guys begin in a maze? I started in a maze. Mm-hmm. I think we both so did. Right? We both did. Yeah. So I started in two thousand and eleven. Eleven in a in as a blackout and lockdown. Okay. For its final year, and that's where Nomi and I that's actually where we met. met each other. Nice. Nice. Um. And then Nomi, you started. I doll. started in 2010. I was in Doll Factory. Doll Factory. Mm-hmm. Doll Factory. I heard that was yeah. one of the most terrifying mazes. Oh, I love that maze. It's yeah, cool. I loved it. She I'm, lives I'm, and breeds for Doll Factory. Yes. <laughs> I've heard one of my nothing, favorites. I've heard nothing but good things about that maze. Hashtag bring it back to 50. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. She was like, I will go yes. back. I will be it. in there. Sure, I'll yeah. be back as Lucy. <laughs> 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 so talk to us a little bit about Lucy and Billy because these two are, they look badass. Thank for you. one, I love the way they look. Um, tell us a little bit about their backstories. I want to hear more about well, them. Well, Billy came about last year, last year being my first year on on um, Ghost Town. Um, it wasn't the Billy that you see today, mm-hmm. um, but of course Lucy was already discovered and created and whatnot. And then um, it was maybe summer of this year, I was contacted through a, um, a haunt, I guess, ma- uh, some some somebody in management of Not Scary Farm he had came up uh, messaged me hey are you interested in in becoming this fem- this male version of of, of Lucy and at first I was kind of like yeah I mean I was kind of hesitant like mm, I don't know whatever I'm like you know what let's give it a shot if I like it cool if not then no big deal we can we'll figure something out Definitely. but now that we see it and now that we've Done it. Done it and, and seen the how well, it how well it worked and how well people loved it. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. It's totally, it was totally worth it. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. What about the story of Lucy? How did that come about? Um, well, I started it about, well, when I was alone five years ago is when I started Lucy and goes down. Three before I came. Right? It was like three <laughs> years before he came. Um, it was kind of like we didn't, they didn't really have any kids or anything anymore. And someone had pitched the idea like, because I wanted to go, go to Ghost Town, but I didn't know what the heck I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, why don't you like be a kid? You have like the structure or whatever. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I go to the audition. I bring in like all the pictures of what I wanted to be as a kid. And I was like, maybe I'll do like possessed kid because that'd be cool. Oh, I'm yeah. super into like demons and oh, possession, yeah. like all of that. Definitely. So I'm like, I can do that. So <laughs> I do the audition, whatever, and I got it. But her backstory is um, she's kind of like a loner kid. She's always like wanting to hang out with all the kids and mm-hmm. they never wanted to be like, have anything to do with her so she was always sad and in her room like playing with herself with um her games and stuff and then she sees a spirit in her house and her the spirit is like super nice to her so she starts you know getting closer to it like now it's her friend because she doesn't have anybody else so one day she gets closer to the spirit and he was like oh do you never want me to leave you she's like yeah like let's be friends forever and then he just possesses her body 
Oh dang! So that that there she is. Well, that's, pretty horror, that's got a horror movie written all over. Right? right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a horror movie right there of its own. How, how is it like old. Warner Brothers or someone picked that up yet? That'd be freaking amazing. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now. Right right now. now. <laughs> Action. Lucy and Billy. Boom. Um, no, because I I like the whole idea of the possession um, because. I mean, a lot of the music I listen to, I mean, it fits perfect with that. Like, mm -hmm. you get exactly when, like, me and this guy would go to the event every night. It was Slayer, Pantera, just stuff to get us pumped, you know, punk, the, the, whatever we were in the mood for. Mm -hmm. And seeing you two on the streets, I'm like, man, imagine, like, Slayer playing in the background and these two are doing their thing. That'd it's like, cool. little did you guys know we had our AirPods on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's how you avoid deep customers, oh, man. man. That's how you do it. Yeah. Can, I can't hear you. I can't hear I'm you. listening to Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Making my way down. <laughs> there you go. Whatever gets you in the mood, man. I, that was how he got in the mood every time. So. Um, <laughs> we, uh, like I said, we've seen you guys so much this season. You guys are like a freaking pinball machine boom 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 and it's freaking it's awesome because you guys you have that energy going in and you have that energy going out Thanks. um how do you guys feel your characters developed from the start of the event to the, the finish of the event hmm well i know i got more grosser at the end yeah because i did. was just and I even too before even before during and after like when we would not be together mm -hmm. i know i mean i can speak for myself and shinomi could naomi could it's like we were we were our characters, but we were our characters without being with each other. Yeah, we yeah. could still like handle. Yeah, like uh huh. Like I'm a little more, I'm a little more aggressive when I'm by myself, but when I'm Me with too. Naomi, <laughs> we just we mallow each other out. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. It's like yin and yang. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like when you guys come together. And then I'm more like faster. I mean, not that she slows me down, but I just feel like we need to bring that together then. Yeah. Because oh. if. Um, I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> we need to hit yeah. 37 miles a night right? instead of 35. <laughs> wow, that's, that's cool, man. Yeah. I really like how you guys, uh, how you just said that when you guys are apart, you guys are aggressive, when you guys are together. I mean, we do have, when we, we are yeah. together, we do have our, our yeah, aggressive I know what you're moments. Saying, yeah, it's uh -huh. like, that's really cool. I mean, when you guys do come together, it's it's terrifying. I yeah. think sometimes, too, when we're alone, just because I feel like, because I'm a girl and I'm alone, like, I have to be aggressive, I have yeah, to be yeah. fast, like I can't. Yeah, we always, regardless, we always have to watch our backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I know that's a big thing, especially the stories we've heard this haunt season for people getting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I know. There's a lot of, they think when they buy a ticket, they own you guys. Right? We just yeah. say yeah. whatever, do whatever. That's yeah. how we feel about you guys owning it. You guys, we, we think we buy a ticket, you own us. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shit, they come up to us and scare us, man. It's like, you know. <laughs> what do you want? Here's my wallet. Sorry, <laughs> my apologies. If you, you want it, it's yours. You can have it. <laughs> Uh, no, we we've uh, we've stapled our our nickname KSF Benchwarmers because throughout the entire haunt season we would go around just sitting in different places and watching mm -hmm. you guys. Watch. That's, that's just like best. every other fan out there. Yeah, yeah. that's all they do. We that's just the uh, love to watch. We we bounce. We do too. <laughs> yeah, we bounced everywhere in Ghost Town um, for the for the longest. We were just in Fog Alley. Then we went to Kmart. Then we go to the porch every now and then, and and we would see you guys everywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys. I mean, I've seen. Something that I like that you do a lot is your walk. Yes. Can you talk a little bit That's about that? That's my favorite. That? That's just, that is. I, I, it's funny because everybody says that. I'm like, I just, I don't, I mean, of course I do the walk, but I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. But it's not until I see it in the video, I'm like, whoa, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that, so, that was one of the fan questions. They want to know how you, how you do that walk, man. I don't know. I just get in the zone. And then sometimes, sometimes when I'm like full force and I need to catch my breath, then I kind of like zone myself down. And that's, that's when you know, like, I'm like. In like okay, let me just kind of reset. Your back hurts. And then I go yeah, my back hurts, my feet hurt. <laughs> you go backstage, you're like oh shit. Yeah. Uh, stretch. Um, something I like you do, uh, Lucy, is the um, just the way you walk is like you said it's intimidating. Yeah, I don't even. I'm just like in the zone. Just like, in I don't the even zone. Just know like, what yeah, I'm doing. Full blown like, what thoughts do go to your head when you are in that zone, man? It's just like. I'm out here to do a job. I'm not here to scare the hell out of people. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. no I'm one's about to get your ass right now. Don't yeah. step yeah. in. The, yeah, don't get in our way. <laughs> yeah. Um, how are you getting run over? How are you getting run over? <laughs> have you guys had any good character interactions with anyone this season? As far as just you two, we've tried. We've tried. We've had a couple. I mean, I think I've had a little bit more than than yeah. Lucy. I feel like people are too scared to do anything with me. Like I'll try. Like, like I feel like they're intimidated. Not like not intimidated by us, but they're like, oh, we just. I don't know. I think we're going to try more. We had a couple more. I mean, I know I had a couple encounters with, you know, the um, the school the school teacher, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, the she-wolf. Yeah. I try to 
we both try to work or make every effort with anybody, with whoever's on the street. We play yeah. hopscotch with the orphan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about the hurt you guys. Were, she was trying to teach you guys how to play hopscotch. Yeah. yeah. Which is hilarious. Yeah. I want to guess how to come in and ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes, man. Usually how it goes. Yeah. Because apparently so you guys don't know how to play a hopscotch. Right? right? I wanted to sit down so they couldn't play. I just wanted to learn it, man. We see Billy, they're kids too. They want to learn stuff, man. Come on. Yeah. Right? They got Shut people ruining it. And that's the tough part. It's like, I mean, I know for myself, like, I have to be a kid. I have to portray it's a that. kid. It's that. I always forget that, that too. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm a 27-year-old I'm like, human. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that's the interesting part, though, is you can transition yeah. between both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, at certain... Uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Prodigy that came out earlier this no. year. No. Um, oh, but like, man. great film. But uh, one of the parts, it's like sometimes the the person's in control, and the other times the spirit's oh, in control. Yeah. Which was like, oh, oh I have to watch that. It was about reincarnation. Yeah. I guess the real thing in real life where people like come back, die. They come back just so they can finish what they wanted to do. Oh, that's cool. So this one, it's about a killer who ends right. up dying and gets reincarnated into this kid to finish what he started. Oh, I kind of oh, like that. I like yeah, that. It's, I'm uh, yeah, I'm watching yeah. that. The little boy from uh, It, the chapter oh, okay. one, Georgie, the yeah. kid played Georgie, he's the main, he's a little evil motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to slap him that whole movie when he's acting like mm. evil and stuff. I'm yeah. Like, so it's... Very, very scary. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that on my list. It's pretty dope. Yeah, um, to feed off do you guys draw yeah. inspiration from like certain films or books or Mostly television? Mostly all the possession films. Mm -hmm. Like how they move, how the, what they say. They interact. The sounds. The vocals. Will we see a Ray facials. Spider Walk maybe? <sighs> yes. She wants to. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Sick. The, those freaking movies too, they have mm. such great quotes. That I'm pretty sure There's so many I can't say. You can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you one of my favorites is in The Exorcist. When Reagan yells, your mother sucks cocks. Yes, that's the one I always wanted to say, but I can't. <laughs> but yeah, we, say, we would say it in our, like, in to our ourselves. Like, I'll I want to say this, this right to now. You. If you see us next year and you walk right by us and whisper to me, mm -hmm. I can tell you I'll just start laughing. Okay, <laughs> right? I would, like, literally, I mean, there was a night where, mm -hmm. I'm not even lying, this guy was around and freaking, like, we would sit in Kmart. And the way the light was positioned, they wouldn't see us at the bench. So, like, every time someone walked by, I would just yell, Your mother sucks cocks and hell. And they'd look at me like, What the fuck was that? Yeah. But it I wasn't just, me. I'm eating my phone. Okay, come back to me. I'm eating your phone. Okay, but uh, now, I mean, that's cool that you guys, I mean, that inspiration from those movies, I mean, those movies are iconic. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, new movies coming out, like The Conjuring series, is a really big one right now. So, a lot of people, when they see, when they think a lot of, like, possession and demons, a lot of today's generation refers to those movies. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, if you're a horror fanatic, a lot of so The Exorcist, yeah. you know, uh, freaking, what else is there? There's so many. Yeah. Uh, Poltergeist is another one. I love yeah. Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yes. I mean, it's a PG movie. And it's I've never movie. seen that movie, but I heard it's pretty scary for being PG. It's one it, of my favorites. Steven Spielberg, man. I mean, uh, ironically enough. Yeah, okay, you gotta watch that. There's a lot of movies I have to watch. Yeah. I don't like scary movies or horror movies. <laughs> me <so>. either. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they scare me, but I still watch them. Yeah, this guy, uh, I had to like force him to come to haunt with me this year. It's really? Like, part of yeah. Channel News. Yeah, I was terrified. I was absolutely <laughs> terrified. Yeah. Once I got in there, I'm like, I was saying, how do you feel yeah. about it now? Oh, and I, I have the bug. I want to. I want it to be haunt season again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't yeah. we all? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, when are we going to Knott's? Those bittersweet <laughs> moments where you wanted to be here, but then you're like, glad it's not because you just want to like rest, rest and have your life yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, take a week off and then do it again. Yeah. yeah. That's all I was like. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many freaking great moments from Timothy. What's been some of your favorite moments this season? There's probably been too many. Yeah, there's been quite a few. Um, God. I'm like, how long has it been? <laughs> I can't even think. I can't even think either, and I know there's one, there's and I so can't many. even think of it on top of my head. Yeah, I, I, I There was what, that one night, I, I don't think you were there, but there was one night where we just, it was a busy night. And we just devoured and tore up Fog Alley. Oh my God, Fog I was jumping Alley off. Was the best. I was jumping off the porch. I was just. <laughs> I lost my mind. When we dropped that huge crowd in Fog Alley too. Yeah, we dropped that huge crowd in Fog Alley. It's always fun. That was always. That was a good one. Season. Good God, there was another. I can't think of it right now. I, I There's just so many. I've, I've seen a lot of the drops this season. Yeah, it's something. We live see, for the drops. See it in person. Yeah. It's, it's magical. There's just <laughs> us coming There's sliding in on both sides. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, coming this, this way. <laughs> yeah. So you guys actually both took part. Did you guys both take part in the pre-show, too? Yeah. Pre yes, we did. Yeah. She did. She did uh, more... Part, she partaked in more than I did. I was more of a filler. Yeah, yeah. So if there was a monster out, I filled in. But I she was, was there. every night. She was stuck yeah, every night. On the bridge. On the bridge. How was that? It was... 
It was a thing. It was, it was a thing. It was different. It was different. You yeah. couldn't see. Well, I did it one night. I think we saw you actually. Yeah, I did it one night up there, and first of all, with what I'm wearing, I can't see as it is, and then there's this huge light shining in your face. <laughs> so you all you're doing is just a bunch of hand yeah, motions. Yeah, yeah. You think you're just doing it to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you think you're just pleasing yourself. So yeah, I did. I did it one night up on the terrace, and then I did it several nights down in the in front of the uh, on the stage. Okay. Where the hangman or all that st or the I just mirror. didn't like it because I couldn't rush the group. Like I had to be stuck up there. Oh, that's and, like, something you like doing, huh? Rushing. The oh group. yes. The th yeah. one thing about rope drop is just you just get that adrenaline and you just get in the zone and you just hear the crowd, especially on good nights. Yeah, yeah. On, oh, yeah. a, on a crazy night when it's a good crowd, you hear them. They don't. It's funny because they don't see you. You see them before they see you. Mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. And they don't see you until you start passing like the water pump. And then once you start passing the water pump, then they see you, and then it's just like, okay, now this is for real. Like, yeah. let's go. I look at it as mm -hmm. a giant wall of death every night. Just freaking everybody <laughs> colliding into water. Yeah. Actually, there was a couple of nights where I, people had ran into me, I ran into monsters, I turned around, and there I go, but I'm still kind of portraying my character. It's crazy. <laughs> We're getting pushed around. But then again, there's nights where people, well, there's just nights where people were like, Okay, do we go? Do we not go? It's like you have to force them to come oh, at you. Definitely, yeah. I mean, there's like those nights where it's like the haunt fan nights where they know what they what to expect, like on a Friday or Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was me and him every night. I think we had to lead the group in because we knew what we were doing every night. Yeah, <laughs> where we were going. Yeah. Yeah. we knew what exactly when the queue was. Mm -hmm. We we knew uh, we knew the whole thing. We yeah, there's just <laughs> this year was my first year I ever did the whole rope drop experience, and there's just. There's something about it that you just can't it's explain. It's the adrenaline rush, man. Mm -hmm. It just hits you right then and there. Yeah. I can only imagine, because as a guest, like, the adrenaline rush just leading up to it, man. It's like, it's time to go, yeah. man. It's time and to it was kind of cool, because the beginning of the season, before, you know, the whole time change, of the, the sun was still, or it was mm -hmm. still kind of daylight, you can see the crowd. Yeah, yeah. But later on in the season, you couldn't see the crowd. You just saw their silhouettes or whatever of them. So it was, it was two completely different Experience, out to experiences, yeah. which is pretty Definitely. cool. Definitely. Um, yeah, because... That it was like it was something that me and him would look forward to every night. It was going that was like the rope drop that would really get us pumped. We were already pumped. I mean, because you know, you go in the front gate for some reason every night, it was either Hell's Bell or a freaking Holy Diver for us. Mm -hmm. and I, I wouldn't complain because I'm, no, I'm a metalhead, so yeah. it's like I don't complain one bit. But I mean, you had that pumping us up going in, and then for some reason, I would continue singing it even when I wouldn't hear it because I knew the words, you know, that was just me getting in the zone, yeah, and then just waiting there, um, playing Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that would be us, and while we were waiting for Free Scare, just playing Pokemon Go, or I'd watch The Office, whatever. Oh, I love The Office. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah. I, I would just sit there in line and watch The Office, and um, it would be something I'd just wait for, and then finally we hear the freaking the gunshot, and then the sound cue, and then all Citizens of Calico. Yeah. yeah. Go, man. Well, it's I don't even anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm over it. I hear it in my head sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So, what is something you guys do every night to get you guys in the zone, pump you up? God, I, I do. I would I, say listen to music. Yeah. Just with our group of friends. Yeah, either listen to music or just kind of get into listening to my own music or just talking to myself on my way to knots. Just kind of clear my mind and just kind of put myself at ease and mm -hmm. that's pretty much it really just kind of pumping up and just getting the vibe off of everybody yeah definitely um yeah. what is some what is some music that you guys are into i mean just talking to lucy prior to this i can tell she's a big metal head and i like yeah that. yeah it's cool i'm complete opposite i i just like my oldies and my r&b for some reason that just kind of gets me going i mean everything yeah i don't know and rap <laughs> hip-hop yeah edm funk rob zombie mm -hmm. tool rob zombie, corn nice. yeah. um that's i mean we're all, um, me and this guy are Mexican, so oldies we grew up on. Yeah. Oldies, yeah. Yep. yeah. It's like, you oh, know, yeah. you have the families and the... Every now and then I listen to my... Yeah. 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 Nah, every, Saturday, every, Sunday. every Saturdays and Sundays, the barbecue with the Modelos yep. and the uh, freaking Coronas. Mm, yeah. Freaking had the oldies on. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I listen to everything, too. I mean, punk and metal were my, my, my staples, but... I mean, you grew up with that music, so it's like you listen to everything. Mm -hmm. that, that's cool, though, because we've heard so many stories of people doing different things, man. Like, yeah, there's a whole lot. I mean... People just sitting there, freaking hostels is the funniest. I think that guy just sits there and just does his like meditation. I'm just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. gets in the zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so he I'm lets it all out on the right. What's waiting. that? I'm still waiting for someone to say, oh, like, I do backflips before. Right. <laughs> a lot of yeah, stretching, man. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. important. Definitely. Yeah, stretching, just kind of vo even vocal exercises, kind of moving your mouth and just kind of getting everything loose and 
And then we have Cordelia cracking our backs. Yep. Nice. That's yeah, always a good thing. Cordy cracking backs. That's yeah. Really wow. Good. <laughs> That's a really good thing. We just lay out and she just comes over and just, uh -huh. <laughs> just crack the back. One by one yeah. going down the line. Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, so who we got? We got a couple of fan questions for you guys. Um, first off, this ain't really a question. This is just Seth saying, send them both my love. Aww. Aww. And it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, birthday Seth. Today, yes. Happy birthday. Yee yeah, boy. Um, so Joker asked uh naomi why is your sister so scary oh <laughs> why are you and your sister so scary uh i guess we were just born like that i don't yeah. know it's just something mm -hmm. i don't know it's some that, gene that hot thing man I mean, she's the smaller scary. version of her sister and her sister's the bigger version of her yeah put it that way so your sister is the bride she's right the bride. she's the bride um another very creepy character yeah, very yeah. Creepy character. but a very cool character mm -hmm. yes um and then you got you you guys you guys ever roll together on slow nights and stuff like that? Or no? Yeah, I not not as much as I would like to, but sometimes we go out there, handle our shit. Handle your shit. Yeah, you just get it out of I, I'd be terrified. If you both came at me like from different angles. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, we all know when there's those nights where it's like kind of busy and crazy. We all just kind of yeah, stay together just like, yeah. without telling here. each other. We just kind of know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll stay yeah. close. Do your own thing and mm -hmm. stay right there. Yeah. that's cool. I mean, everybody's looking out for each other. That's mm -hmm. right. That's a lot of what we heard doing this too, is a lot of times when those nights come, a lot of people like to stick together just to look mm -hmm. over each other. Yeah, or each other's shadows, basically. Yeah, so you guys are like one giant family. Mm -hmm. group, yeah. Which is really yeah. cool. I, think I don't care who you are. Like, if something's happening to you, I'm fucking there. Well, it's like, it's the monsters against everyone. You yeah. Know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I understand that. And like, me and this guy, we would always look out for like, people at night too, just because... You we never hated, know. Yeah. We hated the dicks that would try to fuck with you guys doing what you guys are doing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like... We're all there to be entertained. We pay because we know what we're getting ourselves into. So we got to, like, be an unofficial kind of guardian, you know, just looking out for you guys in case something shit goes down. Right. Mm -hmm. Got you guys' back. You know yeah, because I mean? they can't you. touch, you can't touch them, but Tony yeah, will touch yeah, yeah. them. That was, <laughs> that was, uh, we had a little kid come through Kmart yelling, ha ha, you can't touch me. I turned around and went, but I can. <laughs> he just walked away. So that was, that was, uh, that was my hot highlight right there for Heck me. Heck yeah. Um, they want to know, Daredevil wants to know, are you guys actually siblings? Who's this? Daredevil we, 29. We kind of look like we're related. We kind of look like it, right? but we're not. It already, it works together. No. It works, it works perfectly. It's weird. But we're basically always together, doing everything together, going to hanging Disneyland out. together, hanging out, nice. going to breweries together, so we might as well be. Yeah, <laughs> we have like the same body type. Yeah. It's weird. Unofficial. Uh -huh. All right. Unofficial, Unofficial twins. Of, yeah. Unofficial twins right there. We have the, we're the same age. Mm -hmm. Like it's weird. Oof. Yeah. Well, the twins work out then. Perfect. Uh -huh. like, the yeah. stars aligned. Lucy and Billy were meant to be together. Meant yeah. to be. Like, this was just like something that was just waiting to happen, and then the stars aligned. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. the young Garf says, "What made you guys want to scare together?" I think it was just not that we wanted to. I think it just came natural. It just happened. It just happened because I know because we were in Fiesta together yes, before. Yes, we started. So we kind of right. scared together for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And we didn't scare together the whole time. No, no, we we were no, we didn't really. We just kind of were back and forth. Mm -hmm. But for it just when I came to Ghost Town, it just came natural for us. Like I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna slide. I mean, I'm gonna scare with her. And we've known each other for for forever. Yeah, almost. forever. So it was just. Like just nothing, just, yeah, like we just picked up where we left off. Yeah. Just brought it there. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, you two are pretty big staples of the event. A lot of people know who you guys are. They do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really, I it's mean. It's weird, but yeah. Yeah. So you it, know, it, you know, a lot of people do when you hear it. All night. All Lucy, night. Billy. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of weird I'll because. To be honest, I was one of those guys. Lucy. No, which is totally hey. fine. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of weird because you're like. Like, you don't know yeah, how to like, react to it. Yeah. Like, you just, you want to, like, give them your attention, but then you don't want to lose yeah. the scary time. Sometimes, yeah. yeah, I feel bad sometimes when I just keep going. I'm like, uh -huh. I gotta keep going, like. So, audience watching at home, they do hear you. They just stay <laughs> yeah. in character. We hear you. And they they appreciate it. They're just doing their jobs and staying yeah. in character, which is mad respect for you guys right there. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, again, like, that must, it must be, like, the hardest thing, though, just to kind of have to do that. I mean, you guys are walking around, you're hearing that all night, but you got to keep going. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the reasons why you guys, you think you guys don't stop, you guys just keep going? Because you know if you stop, like, a crowd of people might be yeah. surrounding you? Basically. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Just one of those. But things. we just, like, we just, when we go, we're going. We're just, we're just like, 
We don't stop until we force ourselves. We're to, like, basically. okay, we need to take a break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could tell you guys are known because my dad, who hasn't gone to the event since like 2012, knows who you guys are. Oh shit. When wow. I found when he found out I was gonna have you guys on the show, he's like, really? I was like, man, those they look so fucking cool. Like, <laughs> dang, that's cool. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, man, what do you have in the mall? And I was like today yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah if my dad was here he'd probably like talk to you guys he'd probably just be he's really mellow so he'd probably just ask you guys a little question because mm-hmm. i think i think what catches a lot of people's attention is your guys your guys's face yeah, yeah. which i brought up to lucy before yes yeah. rem- we're really reminiscent to one of the jokers and that was my mm-hmm. thing it's like i don't want to take her style her look her character yeah, yeah. that was that was my other thing that was kind of holding me back but then after I talked to her, she's like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. And, it. and I'm totally glad we did it. It works. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, one of my, and I told Lucy this, one of my favorite characters is the Joker. And he actually did a storyline where he cut off his face. And it looked reminiscent to your guys. Right. I really think it was cool when I saw that. I'm like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is one of my favorite things. And to see them kind of do their own take on it, their own. And I, and she, I talked to her. She, like, had no idea about that. So yeah. I was like, yeah. what, what now, made did you better? Did you see that? look like on the streets or is it prior to like con even starting because we did de- i debuted it the on the announcement night mm-hmm. but i had known prior and she had known prior and we didn't tell anybody no i told i told nobody until that night the the whole, the until whole the, yeah. yeah i had no idea i didn't know till going to the event oh, okay so like going to the event i was just like when i saw you and i saw her i knew her when right i saw you it was like wow this is like uh huh. Like everybody, cool. yeah. After the event, I got a lot of feedback, and everybody just lost their mind. Like, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I, I had. After the announcement of Vanished. After the announcement, yeah, because when did I get introduced to your character? It must have been this season then, when I first saw you. Yeah. Because yeah, I didn't like, like I said, the I way. I knew who she was. Because I had, well, there was somewhat Billy last year, but mm-hmm. Billy, like I said last year, didn't look like he looked Billy this, this year. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this was like a whole new revamp of the mm-hmm. character in a way. I like that. A completely different look. You guys also did something one of the nights, and I don't know if this was approved or not, so I'll be very cautious of how I say it. You guys painted the face instead of having the prosthetic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. How was that different? I mean, how how did that feel difference-wise? Was it such a relief, or did you guys like it better? It was... It wasn't a relief, or... It, 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 I've been in 2D before, mm-hmm. and so is she, so we... That's how Lucy started. Yeah, that's how she started, and that's how I started last year. I was in 2D mm-hmm. with some, with blood and everything like that, and I know last... I mean, during this past season, we can, we were talking about us just doing 2D, 2D for the you know, for the halibut, whatever, how. just to see how to go or whatever, yeah. and then we talked to our makeup artist, and then we got approval from there okay. to do it, and then the night that we did it was my last night, of haunt so then we just said oh might as well do it it's literally the last second to the last day of the season yeah yeah, yeah. so because we did it and we liked it, it was it was different yeah yeah because cool, all yeah. season but I then again that. but we're so used to we yeah. were used to being in 2d face, yeah. yeah but then there was times where like oh we don't have our our main our security security base so to yeah, yeah. speak so we can be more because both of us are really like Expression. Expressive. Yeah, we mm-hmm. like to show a lot of expression. Yeah. Where with this face, you can't so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can only move it so yeah. many ways. And do so much with it. Now, in the future going on, is this something that you guys want to explore more 2D? Or do you, does it, is it like half and half? Kind of like you'll maybe do half the event with the prosthetic, half with 2D? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm up for I mean, anything. Yeah. Whatever they give me. Whatever. whatever. Just, whatever they want to do. In the end, they're just happy to be back. They yeah, care I just want to show care. up. That's care because yeah. they care. That's, our, that's been the whole model this season for that. Yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, man, I mean, I, like I said, I loved watching you guys work this season. I mean, it's just been a hell of a show watching you guys work um, when we did catch you. There were some nights we actually got, like, really good feel- footage of, like, we, when you guys would come through Kmart. I'm like, this is a surprise, man. And I always mm-hmm. used to go through Kmart, like, years prior, and this was, like, the only year I was, like, barely over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we stayed away from I mean, I, I we, I mean, I can, we kind of do that more as a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do a few short, shorter laps rather than larger laps, but Definitely. I know I would always used to hang out in, I always hang, yeah. hang out in Kmart. Like, hours mm-hmm. I'd be over there. Mm-hmm. But this year I was, like, not. This one was gonna go. Yeah. Now. With that being said, did you guys have any way of keeping track of how many steps or stuff you guys did tonight? No. 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 I didn't. Not even on your phone, right? No. Because he always had his phone in with him in his yeah. book. Oh, that's smart. Uh-huh. What yeah. you track, that's right? smart right there, No, man. I didn't track it. I just... God knows how many I did. Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> now, you're part of Decade. Yeah. I fucking love those guys. Thank you. I that saw means them a lot. for the first time at Midsummer Scream. Yeah. 
and uh, Jackie had told us she was going to be in the show, so we were like, okay, let's go check it out. Uh-huh. I was blown away. Oh my god, the shows this year were amazing. They were, I think what really sold it for me, because I'm a huge fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. And they introduced the song in like yeah. the beginning of it, and I was like, alright. <laughs> so I love this show. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that's it. That's it for me. Yeah, that was um, an awesome show. With such, we had such a busy Midsummer Scream schedule this year. I'm so they glad we so got much. To, to squeeze it in at least a little, like at least one of the shows. You know, because yeah. man, if we weren't at a panel, we were doing a podcast. If we weren't doing a podcast, we were back at a panel. If we weren't doing a panel, we were trying to go into the show. <laughs> See if we can get a maze. See if we can get yeah. a maze in or something. Yeah, and then, uh, too. I made sure we would put a decayed weird show in. Um, with that and Haunt, like, how was that in the off season? It's like you're doing Haunt, of course, but then I mean, most of the season, do you do more decayed stuff? Yeah, season? it yeah. just depends on what gigs we have going on. I'll jump back into sliding. Mm-hmm. How long have you been sliding for? <sighs> Pretty long time. I don't even for, know. For it's time. been a while. It's been a while. Okay. Yeah. What did I say on decayed, though, I started in 2016. 2016. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Billy? How long you Fourteen been since twenty fourteen? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five years yes, now, maybe. Nice. Wow, yes, nice. Oh, that is like five a years. Sport right there. It that is. is I sport. love it. You do? Yeah, Man, I love it. I, I, we've been invited down to go to that rink so many times by like a couple of scare actors, and I'm just like, I feel intimidated. Like I don't Why? know. Where, I just <laughs> I wouldn't know. I for one, I mean, I'm not gonna go to slide. I'm gonna go to hang out. Right. right. Just a lot of people do. Um. But I don't know, man. I'm just like, there's so much fucking skill there. And I'm just there like, yeah, I do it for channels. Yeah. But Joel's going to be hitting the floor every time yeah. someone does something. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard some I don't know how things. some of them, I don't know how some of those other guys do it. I know. I, mean, I don't even know. I'm like, we nope, got magic it's okay. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Jumping 13 I, people. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, someone's jumped 13 people? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's He's in Ghost Town. That is ridiculous. Ghost Town too? Oh my God. That is crazy. Now, when I used to go to Knott's back in the day, they used to have slider shows. Yeah. I miss those. Me too. I need to bring those back. I know. Like, I think you two would probably be, like, great in those. <laughs> I don't know where they would do them, though. <laughs> That's the other thing. Because yeah, they used to either. do them right where know. the old Calico stage yeah, was. Yeah, this is a long time ago. Yeah. Right in front of the saloon. And then they built all that, and then now the stage is over there. I mean, the only thing, the only place I can think of it is, like, doing it for the pre-show for the hanging to kind of get... Mm. I mean, I heard they used to do that a lot, too. Yeah. Which I yeah. was something that was cool. Um, Another question. How long, how, when did you guys know you wanted to become Knott's Monsters? Uh, probably when I was eight. Because that's when my sister started working there, and I had no idea what the heck it was. And I just knew she always went to Knott's. I was like, okay. But then she started showing me videos. I'm like, oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Like, oh, yeah. This is this is what you're doing? I'm like, I was waiting. I'm like, okay, I'm writing a countdown, like 10 years, 18, I'm going to do this. So I was just waiting every year. I was finally 18, and I did it. Did you ever do any home haunts or anything in between? No, I didn't. No? Uh-uh. Just, uh, just waiting for the 18? Yeah. yeah, I was just waiting. Yeah. It took forever. For me, it did. It just kind of came spontaneously because, like I said, I first when I first started working knots in general, mm-hmm. I was a blackout, and I was a blackout for that whole season of 2012, and then I, uh, 2011, and then 2012, I had took off because uh, I had got I I had took that year off, and then I came back in 2013 and p- for Pinocchio, and then it just went off. I mean, I just kind of grew and I learned f- techniques and scares from there, basically. Starting off in a maze basically teaches you the right way to scare the do's and the don'ts. Mm-hmm. So that way when you're... Pre- like, it basically... Not that it prepares you for the streets, but you know what you're doing. So that way when you make it to streets, you're in the streets. You're not, like, going in full, like, cold cold turkey. Not knowing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially Gosh. with streets because there's, like, so much more freedom yeah. Yeah. out there. Yeah. In that, you have to be more... And if you don't know what you're doing, it's like... You feel stupid. You yeah. like go out there. You're like, I don't. I don't you have know. to like watch. You have to watch your back more. Not saying that you're not watching your back enough in a maze, but mm-hmm. more so. Yeah, because you street. know blackouts. Yeah. Watching out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because from what we've been told, it's like a lot of people in like the first couple weekends just are still trying to find yeah, themselves. Yeah, it takes like, mm-hmm. a while. They don't know. I mean, they they know the basic to scare and everything, but they're still trying yeah, to figure it's out just their, so different. their groove in a way. Um, was that something that was hard for you guys when you first started, trying to figure out a groove for streets and, and mazes? Um, for me, it kind of was when I first started out last year in Ghost Town, because Ghost Town would be my first, I mean, my first year in Ghost Town, of course, and I didn't know the the area or whatever or not, but, I mean, now I can, I'm, I kind of have it down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now it's just something you come in and boom. Mm-hmm. And, and I think, helping. too, I think, too, working on, uh, 
a prior scare zone to going to ghost town gave me that comfort or that knowledge of what to do what to do what to do man i mean there's so many so many i heard there was a lot of rookies this year too there was a lot yeah mm -hmm. that was like i felt like half of us were rookies yeah there was a lot blew this year me away because then you look at every well at least with us i mean this was the first year we went to the event where we actually went multiple nights and paid attention to the scare zones like you know if you go once or twice you walk through the scare zones right, right. just going to the mazes and the scare zones are there to kind of keep it going as you go into the next maze this was the first year me and him actually sat down watched everyone work and it really didn't look like anyone was a rookie out there to be honest yeah they but were on fire this year did a really good job of just bringing that atmosphere to life bringing that energy staying true to the lore of the storyline like they wanted to be there they wanted yeah. to Give it their all, yeah. I like was so blown away by like how many people we had on the show that were like, yeah, well, we, this is my first year on Ghost, and I was like, right? Wow. It's like wow, yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're amazing. I have so much respect for you now because like I probably couldn't go out there and do it. I don't know. <laughs> um, how did you guys feel this year about the new lore of Sarah Marshall, and how did that kind of affect your guys' characters? Well, I felt like that kind of brought out our our not our characters but more of our backstory. Mm -hmm. Because uh, like she when she had uh, mentioned about her backstory, and then with the whole Sarah Marshall thing, that kind of came where I that kind of brought me to life, mm -hmm. because she was there doing her thing. Sarah Marshall, I felt like she needed, she wanted more of of Lucy, but she didn't know how to do it. So then she created me, and basically from there we just kind of ping ponged off each other, and then. Um, I always, I, I know we were kind of talking about like our backstory as one, and I mean it's still to this day kind of growing. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you could say we were like when they, when she had took the children, she left us. Yeah. yeah. To kind of overtake the town, so that way when the new children came or whatever, we devoured and demolished and took over them, like the orphan, like where's her, like how did her parents get there? How did exactly. she even, how is she even an orphan? Because we took her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. We took her and we just, we caused hell over her and all the other children that were, that are there. Yeah. I mean, let's cross this universe over with the supernatural universe. Right. Mm -hmm. Sam and Dean come in. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> freaking Impala comes around the corner, man. And then it's busy the first two they see and boom. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to work. Yeah. You're going to hear carry on, your, carry on my wayward sign in the distance? I'm sorry to geek out real quick. That was just, that's one of hey, my favorite yeah. shows, man. I like that show. It's on his last season. And yeah. I'm so sad, but. All things must come to an end. Yeah, um, so Sarah Marshall created us to basically do her conquer, her, do her evil. Nice, I like that. Mm -hmm. What would be what would be Lucy and, and Billy's theme song? If y'all had to choose one. God, I don't There's know. so many songs. <laughs> There's so many songs <laughs> that could probably relate to it. I mean, yeah. in the metal world, I already know there yeah. is. I can already think of like ten. I don't even know. Me either. There's a lot, I'm sure. I got one for every genre. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, what? It's after police, that's what it is. After police, they just come around the corner. Freaking shadow comes around the corner. Troublemaker! I, and I know I keep saying it, your characters are just brilliant. I don't, there's just something about them that it's just, it draws me to the event every single year. I mean, not only you guys, but like everyone in Ghost Town, everyone in Boardwalk, everyone in The Hollow, everyone. Mm -hmm freaking in the mazes man there's just something about this event that keeps we want to come back more and more that's, that's how good. it felt so much this season that's what we want you and everybody to feel like yeah mm -hmm. coming back for more like the story's not over you have to keep coming back every season and that's what i like about and every day is a new day yeah, yeah. That, that, every night true. is a new every night every night's a new night that's why we never wanted to leave ghost town we were afraid we were gonna miss something. <laughs> yeah there's always something going on there's always something going on and there's always this just one week you're like, okay, how are they going to top that? You leave Sunday night, like, how are they going to top that next week? Yeah. Then you come back and they're like, wow, they top that. <laughs> and they go bigger, and then they go bigger, Every and they get week, bigger, it was just, and bigger. And yeah. I'm just like, wow. It got better and better. Yeah. I mean, whether it be a bad crowd, the energy was still there. Whether, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if you guys were pissed off or not, I think those are the if, best crowds, though. Yeah, those are the good crowds. <laughs> the crowds basically what feeds us. Yeah. We want to, yeah, like Definitely. they, they want to see what we can do. And we're like, okay, we'll show you. We'll show you. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not scared. Well, right. Wait till I come oh, around that corner. You're not scared? Hold my beer. 
<laughs> Speaking of beers, how many beers did you guys drop this season? Oh, there was too many. Too many. Oh man. And you can hear it. You can hear it physically. Somebody saying, "Oh, you dropped my beer." Oh, my beer. This is that. Or you hear the. Or you can physically see it, like go mid air, mm -hmm. and then you can hear it go. Bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best ones. Splash. Is that your favorite? Is that like your like favorite like token? Mm -hmm. Is a uh, beer dropping. Beer dropping. Wine dropping. People dropping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> People just people just scattering like roaches. Do you have people as big as me and him freaking fall this season? I'm sure we did. Maybe. <laughs> probably did. You probably got me. Probably I'm did. just kidding. I didn't get floored, thank God. Just wait. There's always so, next year. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's the part that really terrifies me. <laughs> the more times we meet people. Let me let me add this to it and he knows where I'm going every I already podcast. Know you're going. <laughs> Go for it. it. This year in Kmart, he would fall asleep. At like ten thirty every night, take a nap. No matter how much caffeine I get have. Maybe I should have joined Good you. No, I know. Right? <laughs> so I'm just saying, y'all need a scare next year. Well, yeah. If you ever need a scare, just look at me, and I'm probably already gonna be Make scared. Make a loud okay. noise. He's scared yeah. of loud noises. I'm terrified of loud noises. That's why I don't like scary movies. Pay tension. So if you just create some form of tension, okay, I'm gonna be terrified. Okay, you're telling two of the staple characters of Damn Nods. All these. <laughs> Yeah, if, just, if I'm just like look at you and I'm waiting for this scare, it's gonna be even worse. Yeah. <laughs> just do it already. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, but me on up. the other hand, I encourage it. Come up to me, interact with me, scare me. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't know what it is. I love it. I was actually really mad this year when we started meeting a lot of people and they just didn't want to scare me. Although I, I had that. a funny interaction with you. Oh God. <laughs> really? I know where you're going. And probably, you probably didn't even hear oh, him. No, I really uh, hope you didn't hear him. I really hope so. I didn't say anything though. All I did was clap, and oh. she walked right by me. She's like, "Ah!" <laughs> oh, that's right. Sounds about right. <laughs> and I was that like, sounds right. I was like, "What just happened? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> what did I say wrong?" <laughs> you just looked wrong. I was just clap. I don't know why I was clapping. I was clapping at something, and she walked by me and did that. I was like, "Okay, I gotta keep going for my night." <laughs> I was like, "That just, just gonna go to the bathroom." Just gonna go to the bathroom. Um. I'm I'm glad that we got to take a picture this year. That was fun. That was yeah. cool. Especially in the two day makeup, I like. Yeah. That, that mm -hmm. was cool. Um, I'm sure you weren't expecting that. Yeah, I was like, he's gonna meet with us, but I don't. We don't <laughs> know if he's gonna know it's us. Yeah. We don't have our faces. I know. The basic we, costume. Yeah, yeah, but I think so the whole like, facial was like, like. It was just like. Oh. No, I was, I was <laughs> surprised else? at it. I was like, oh man, they're not wearing the prosthetic side, and they look cool like that. I, I think that looks bitching. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wonder if it's like a new thing they're trying out for maybe next year or something. You know. Yeah. It usually, was just like I said. It was something we've all throughout the whole season we've been we wanted to do, and we yeah. just my last night we're like a second to the last night of haunt in general. We're like, okay, let's do it. Mm. How is that usually too? Like when one person leaves before the actual final event, it's like, is it? Is it a bittersweet moment between you guys? And then, then like, the next night when you, sh when you went out by yourself, is it kind of like, man, I, I missed this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Because there were nights, I, there was more nights where she was alone, mm -hmm. or yeah. where, where I That's was cool. off and she was on. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of like, when those nights or those days where I weren't there, I was like, I kind of feel bad. Like, is she okay? Do I do, should, yeah. I, should I text her? Should I go check up on her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Break time, like, she dead good. somewhere? <laughs> yeah. That's freaking... I mean, but I know, but like I said, if we were, she was, I knew she would have been in good hands because we all watch each out. other and look out for each other, especially our group of friends who always have each other back. Everybody, I should say. Mm -hmm. Whether you're on Ghost Town or not, Definitely. every Definitely. scare zone has your back. Did you guys get an opportunity to visit the event this year? I did once. I did. I did on. I came on Halloween. Halloween. Oh nice. nice. Yeah. Oh, you I actually saw Halloween? you guys. No, no, she did. did. You? Yeah. She oh, came really? on Halloween. Wow. That's cool. What were we yeah. challenges doing? I don't know what we were doing. I doing. think you were just like walking warming by the, the bench. saloon. Probably. That seems like a normal bench. Warming up the bench. <laughs> Keeping it warm. Got cold. Got to go back. Yeah. Between you and I, we actually carved the initials BW in that. Bench. Did you? So I'm hoping they'll be there for next year. Nats is gonna watch. Be like, you guys can't come back. Yeah, they're gonna watch this. Be like, all right, we need to go over there. Yeah, clean it up. You <laughs> <laughs> see a new piece of wood that doesn't match the color. You're like, damn it! <laughs> Brand spanking new bench. Brand spanking new bench, man. We'll keep a one. metal one. You heard it here first. Our, we'll our, uh, our, our running joke is like, we wish we could just have chains and just chain the bench to us and just drag it everywhere we go. Oh my god. And put it in places it's not supposed to be. I mean, obviously we would respect you guys' space and put it off to the side, yeah. but it's like, yeah. there's some places where you sit and it's just like, it is uncomfortable. And oh I god. want my bench. Yes. I almost fell asleep a couple nights, but I woke myself mm -hmm. up. Whether it be a slap in the face or something. Same. <laughs> Out on the street. Just. Yeah. Yeah, Lucy, come on. Man. They were nice, you're just like, mm -hmm. it's past my bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are kids, though, so you you should have quote unquote bedtime. Right, nap. Right? <laughs> well, nap time in the middle of Fog Alley. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps them awake as them demons, man. 
the demon's like, nah. There nope, you, there it's party time. <laughs> it ain't done. Let's go. <laughs> we ain't done till it's say it's done. Um, so what were you guys' thoughts of the event? Like, on the night you did, or the nights you got to I visit? loved it. Especially loved uh, that Puppet Up show. Puppet Up was the best. Oh. We actually got to see Puppet Up oh, during, during the rehearsals and everything yeah. like that. So, I mean, I was unfortunately wasn't able to see it during the run. Yeah. We just saw it. We were dying. Yeah, it was we pretty good. We couldn't stop laughing. A lot of people thought it wasn't going to be like, it wasn't going to be a huge success this year, too. No, right? it, yeah, it was. Everybody it definitely was like was. talking mad shit. Me and him for the start, we saw it on the announcement event because we were actually here ironically live streaming a live stream we were live streaming it too backstage mm -hmm. yeah uh we were live streaming the live stream because yeah. uh we couldn't we didn't have the pass at the time so we had to do it from here right and <laughs> me and this guy immediately were like dude that's the greatest idea ever because me and him used to do high school improv so okay, it was like yeah. dude pump it up freaking improv with puppets i'm for it yeah. let's do this i'm all ready for that and Sure enough, we saw it at least like seven or eight times. Yeah, we saw it eight times. Yeah, because every never show felt, was different. Never yeah. felt to yeah. make us laugh. Even if, like, they, because they did like some of the same bits sometimes. Yeah. Still, we, 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 we sing that ending great. song, Wendy, every time. I wish they had that on download, Spotify. Yeah, we, we be coming to Ghost Town being singing about Wendy. It's too It's too catchy. It is really catchy. I really did. I really did enjoy pumping up, and I hope they bring it back next year. Cause, I know, you know, yeah, it was good. The disappointment for me we this year. We were saying they needed to have. A oh yeah, there. there was t there was times where the running joke was that we were puppets, like they, like sometimes I guess, they felt like a muppet. Sometimes like we felt like a like muppet, muppet, just the way our face was like sprayed, or I guess you want to say like makeup wise. Yeah, yeah. We just felt like just putting giant sticks on us and this. Be the photo op. Okay. Yeah, and doing like oh, little oh, meet dude. and greet. Really Lucy Muppets. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. That would be. Did you so prior to becoming Notch Monsters? Did you guys visit the event? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I've been going since yeah. 2004. Mm -hmm. Wow. Off, yeah, myself off and on. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have a favorite maze from uh, like all time? I have a few. The asylum. Yeah, the asylum is what really Fury got me. Tales. I think that's what kind of that stuck in my head till this day. Like I can see the whole maze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thirteen acts. Mm -hmm. Blood Bayou. Club Blood. Club Blood. I went through that one. That was one. I, I went in 2009. And then 2019, I was terrified after 2009. I was like, I can never go back. Yeah. I was I, when he told me, "Hey, buy a season pass." I was like, "Okay, hopefully I can make it through this." Because I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Alan show at all. No. Alan DeGeneres. Alan DeGeneres. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've ever watched the videos when she sends Andy through the mazes. Yes. Yeah. I really thought that was gonna be me. I was really terrified. <sighs> I was hoping for it. So I was. It would have been great content. <laughs> There were yeah. some of those Andy people, like on streets and even in the mazes, and that that's what kind of like, I mean, kept you going. That's what mm -hmm. fed you. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah. We're friends with one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Several. I uh, first went in 2008. I was in fifth grade. Dang. Yeah. And I lasted two hours. My dad and my cousin. I I still get made fun of it to this day. And then I redeemed myself in 2011 by going to Horror Nights. And then I've been going to Haunts every year ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, there's people who, they walk in the gate, They're and like, they nope. walk right back out. I'm gone. <laughs> We've seen it. <laughs> Peace out. We've seen it. I spent my 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. Not going to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. You're just going to freaking stay out in Marketplace the entire night while you're freaking rest of the party is having a good time. That mm -hmm. sucks. It does. Um, what would you guys say to upcoming scare actors or people who want to become scare actors, uh, what advice would you give them? I mean, just have fun. Give it your all. I mean, be your character. If there's somebody you want to promote or be, be that person. Mm -hmm. Show up. Show them, show them what you've got. I mean, there's no wrong or right way of being a character or being a monster. Just give it your all. Just give it your all. Definitely. That's it. Definitely. Make yourself known. Because I think a lot of people have been watching these they, a lot of people who are probably not even of age yet are trying to watch these and just get an idea of what they can yeah i get messages in. all day too mm -hmm. yeah. people asking me like hey like i'm gonna be auditioning or i want to audition how do i do it just do it do it just do it, it. Yeah, just give it your own that's there. i can't tell you i can't tell you how to audition you have to yeah, basically you do, it. do it yourself you have, to have that energy going yeah in. don't mm -hmm. stress don't even overthink it just go in there and just do it yeah because they were like when i had first I'll be honest with you, when I had auditioned last year for Ghost Town, my nerves, I was so nervous, like it basically showed my character, and I guess I, I mean, my nerves basically got me in the zone, if that makes sense. Definitely. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I mean, when, when it's the audition comes, it's just, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've heard so many stories of like freaking Lucille telling me like he kept going until they told him to stop like three times and yeah, yeah. still kept going after that. So it's like I've heard different stories this year. Where a lot of people were just go in. Some of them give it their all. Some of them don't even try, and they still are just surprised to land mm-hmm. a place in it. I mean, yeah. Channel that inner monster, right? Channel That's that it. inner monster. Exactly. Um, before we sign off, because I can talk to you guys all day, and I loved, again, thank you for the opportunity for this again. Just you two coming on again when we decided to, to get you guys. It was just a mind blown, and uh, we couldn't be any more thankful for that. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. We appreciate you as a fan. Oh, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. <laughs> all the fans out there. All the fans. All the fans. What is your guys' favorite scary movie? Mine is Poltergeist. Poltergeist? Yeah. I respect it. Mm-hmm. I like, um, God, there's so many. Like, uh, shit, I can't think of one right now. Poltergeist is good. Like, oh, I, you know, I'm a big Saw fan. I like Saw for some oh. reason. That is, okay. uh, I don't know. I think that was my first real, like, scary movie that I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I love Saw. And a yeah. lot of people always oh, mention good. Like, You're a psychopath. I'm like, why? It's crazy. I think it's it so, is, yeah, yeah, it's so, like, you want to keep watching it. Like, it's so entertaining. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the gore sometimes. Yeah. Is like, Ooh, but it's like. Man, this guy takes the time out of his day to come up with these traps. Like, yep. dang, I couldn't do that. But I mean, I think what's so good about that first movie too is like, it was literally set in a bathroom. Mm-hmm. And the suspense building up to it to the very end. Crazy, yeah. And then four, forty thousand franchise, you know, movie sequel spawned, and the rest <laughs> is history from there. I yeah. love those movies. Though. Those movies are gory and they're beautiful. Well, Lucy, Billy, it has been an absolute pleasure having you guys on the show coming in the studio talking about your hot season hockey how you guys got started um we look forward to hopefully seeing you guys next season because yeah. if you guys are not there we're gonna start a riot oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um no but we we we, we look bring forward to seeing what you guys have to bring to the table next season i mean i know every year character developments change mm-hmm. you know bios mm-hmm. change i mean you guys want to try new stuff that you guys thought about probably this season you're yeah. like oh shit, oh yeah i'm already yeah i'm already yeah i'm already, already, yeah. already going Planning. so um, i'm really looking forward to that um we can't wait to see what you guys offer we just want to give you guys a big thank you guys characters in general just for putting on one of the greatest fucking shows in the world um because not scary farm is the one that started it all and to this day has spawned so many traditions so many iconic just hot things that you see at other haunts and for you two to be part of that it must be freaking an honor because like Thank you. that's mm-hmm. freaking that's badass it's cool yeah. Yeah. yeah it's 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 a it's it's fun yeah you definitely. get you get paid to scare the shit out of people and that's yeah i love it that's what we love to do in the end of the day we don't look at you guys as characters we look at you guys as our heroes uh-huh. uh-huh. bring the fucking nightmares to uh-huh. life uh-huh. <laughs> all of our my home. black heart it got warm a little bit a little bit all, so the, uh, cold. all the horror fanatics who go in you guys bring that to life for them, and you give us a legit living horror movie, and we love it. Thank that's you. why we come back every year. So oh, yeah. thank you and so much. And we encourage you to come back every year. Oh, Everybody yeah. to come that's back. That's what oh, yeah. makes us come back every year. Yeah, yeah. definitely. The fans. And yeah. you'll pass it. I'm just saying. Heck yeah, so good deal. It. Good deal. And then you add the parking to it. Yep. Save a ton of money. Yeah. Freaking just gets it paid off in like three visits, trust me. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it today for the My Lone podcast presents Scaractor Appreciation Month. If you guys liked this video, of course, leave a like and some comments below because I know the characters love reading you guys' comments. Um, follow us on Twitter. At Knights of Horror. I got it today. And at Instagram. <laughs> What's our Instagram, Sammy? At The Knights of Horror. Damn. Uh, uh-huh. Lucy Billy, you guys want to plug any social medias you guys have so people can follow you guys? At GTS underscore Billy. At GTS underscore Lucy. Go follow them because I know all hot season they put up amazing stuff week by mm-hmm. week and it gets us pumped for the event every weekend. I can tell you that right now. It definitely does. Uh, Shout uh, out to all our followers currently. Hell follow- yeah. yeah. And future followers. Yeah. <laughs> Future fanatics, man. I can yeah. tell it to you. Heck yeah. Once you follow one, you're gonna follow them all. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are feeling a little extra generous. We have a Patreon, anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars. But like always, what means the world to us is just your support by subscribing, or turning on those bell notifications. Or turn on those bell notifications. Sammy, I'm liking the energy tonight. Always. Must be because Thanksgiving is tomorrow. By the way, happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. Happy <laughs> early Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Thanksgiving, I'm ready to you eat. Guys. I'm, I'm ready, ready to eat. Yeah. I must have been all the carbs I ate today. I Give me thanks in the turkey. Finally giving me energy. <laughs> I'm thankful for. Fucking all scare actors because yeah. without them, none of these haunts come to life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, For the ones who started it all. The ones who started it all, yeah. Scary farm. 47 yeah. years ago, right? 47 years ago. We're on 48. Yeah, let's see, what, let's see what 50 brings to the both of us. I know. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Oof. We'll be there. 
Yeah. Hopefully, maybe I'll have a kid by then. Who knows? Oh, no. <laughs> no, who knows? No, who knows? I don't know. If he's I only under 13, he has to bring him. But under 13, no. <laughs> don't no. bring him. I'm not bringing him if he's not I am. We've had our fair share of strollers and newborns, newborns and kids with light up swords. and They're trying to hit me with their sword, yeah. That's yeah. gonna go full force on them. You yeah. got Baby Yoda on their ass. Mm -hmm. Maybe <laughs> or you have their mom or dad telling them not to scare them, but you do it anyway just yeah. because. Why Spike fucking not? <laughs> <laughs> they paid. <laughs> well, they technically probably didn't pay if they're under well, three. Yeah. But they're there. They're there. Like, Sammy fans like me and Sammy, we just respect you guys. We respect everything. So if you see us filming off to the side, we're respecting your boundaries and everything. We know, Thank you. We Thank know you. Shit. We know better. Some people, yeah. Some, some people, people yeah. Like some people do. Sorry. Some people don't. Yeah. They're just like mm -hmm. in yeah, my yeah. face. So definitely want to get more video of you guys next season for compilations. I feel like yeah, with those. Those songs. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah ghost. When we had yeah. Ghost. ghost. We had freaking Rise Against. We had yeah. so many great. What a great soundtrack this year. Yeah. yeah. Um. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching another episode of Scary Appreciation Month, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.